Midnight. Coming up this week on Kings of the Rings podcast, don't go too far because we have two surprise entrants back for the very first time. Willie T and Kayfabe are here. The original crew is here at Kings of the Rings podcast to talk about one of the best premium live events or pay-per-views of the year, the Royal Rumble, and in our yearly Rumble of Royalty shows. On top of that, WWE woke up today and chose violence in the media market, so we've got a lot to talk about. And there's somebody dropping a coin on January 31st who's also a free agent if you smell what The Rock is cooking. So sit back, relax. It is our 2024 Rumble of Royalty shows exclusively here on WrestleLadic Radio, Kings of the Rings podcast, or should I say the award-nominated Kings of the Rings podcast, and it starts right now. Oh my God! You know Tuesday might feel good from here on out. I we I think we can do this. I think we can do this, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Kings of the Rings podcast, exclusively here on Wrestling Radio. I am your host, King Ricky Rose. Thank you guys for joining us on this special edition of KLTR on a Tuesday, which might be our new home uh, in the very very near future. It, please like, share, subscribe, uh, leave us a five star review wherever you are watching us right now or listen to us a couple of days after this comes out just to remind you we are the voting is still open actually for the sports podcast awards and yours truly kings of the rings podcast has been selected as a finalist for best wrestling podcast by the sports podcast awards if you would like to vote for us and you definitely should please click the first link in the description below of the show and with me this week i figured we'd have the crew that helped me help the show get nominated uh, i'm back Again, for the very first time in almost like six weeks, I think, the former, former cover star of WWE 2K21, Will Tarashock. How are you? I'm good, man. Um, I think Tuesday was our original home. Yeah, Jazz brought me dinner, so I'm fucking starving. So sorry. I got steak quesadilla. There you go. But um, I got to remember how all these buttons and podcasting work. It's been yeah, a while. It but I'm, I'm so glad that we could be back. With the one and only, K Fabe. I still call him K Murphy. K Murphy, I miss you so much. I love you. I'm so glad you're back. Hi, y'all. How is Boris? Yeah, how is Boris? Boris is the most perfect man. Let me find him. Can I? Yeah, you, you can bring him on the show. Yes, yeah, go please. right ahead, please. I please, queued him yeah. up. God damn it. I mean, you know, K has been away for for a very long time. K is uh, been uh, bringing in our first animal on the show. CM Pup has officially. This one's wheel too. Yeah, it's it's, it's a that duck. <laughs> Oh yeah. my god, we did do the duck. Was it, was it duck we did do the duck. I totally forgot. Freckles. 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 Yes. Freckles. Yes. It's almost Freckles' birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Freckles. The Freckles era, dude. Oh man, Freckles was a thing just so we can mess with Slack. So funny story, actually. Um, about <laughs> about Slack. I was kind of you know keeping the numbers and doing the stats and everything about this. And uh, 2023, the first year in a very long time <laughs> that we just didn't have Slack on the show. We forgot. <laughs> oh my we, god, we, we forgot, forgot all about Slack. Slack. <laughs> yeah, Slack. <laughs> so it's a gimmick. You always bring Slack on on a random week of the year and say happy birthday. <laughs> it's never his um, birthday. <laughs> I haven't no, been on the forgot. show in like six months, yeah. and I feel just, like I was the you straight like, up forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's very I was true. the Slack ambassador for a while. Yeah, and even when I was having my string of like guest hosts and stuff, not once it across my mind that I should invite Slack on the show. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to you. I thought of everybody else, and Slack never made the list. Ricky, it was six months, <laughs> and you didn't think of Slack not once? once? Not once. I'm wow. not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It was it was a weird six months, as you can see on my personal podcast. We were just... <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, we are finally all back. CM Pup looks amazing. Uh, Isn't he perfect? <laughs> I love corgis. Yeah, he's gonna be playful the entire time. That's right. I didn't think about him once. Right now, he's enjoying 
the belly rubs. There you go. We gotta we gotta get CM Pop to do the first guest game. Maybe it'll be like a uh, a TikTok exclusive or something random like that. A TikTok exclusive, <laughs> Boris. What do you think? Honestly, that might help us. We we're actually getting a lot of tracks on TikTok, on especially on KOTR's TikTok. Uh, we're almost at like a thousand followers, which is kind of wild uh, to think about. But like, what if we made like a Boris like our our TikTok like dog? And he... Are you saying you want to exploit my dog for views? Yes. yes. Actually, <laughs> yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. Listen, everybody needs a, a mascot. I think he would participate. Or we can we can have him, like, choose between different things. Like, if he makes, like, predictions on shows and whatnot. Give him, like, two of his favorite hey, toys. We're well past. We're, we're at 1246 followers. I don't know what oh, we're at 1246? About. Oh, yeah. wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. Good, good for me. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, once you can... Uh, once you get a thousand, you can technically go live. I don't know how we. I, I don't know how we way do, we do that it. On, I mean, we can. Sh- it, it'll be. S- I mean, we can. We can. Yeah. It's just. Uh, it's weird. You got to punch the RTMP code into restream mm-hmm. if if TikTok gives you an RTMP code. Oh, very very interesting. Okay, so that's something for for a future thing uh, as well, potentially. Potentially. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll kind of get on that. Uh, there's a lot of changes going on in the world of pro wrestling, especially when we all woke up this morning, because I thought we were going to talk about something really, really big um, you know, from from one of the greatest performers in New Japan history to become a free agent. But that has plummeted down. No, the fuck all that. Yeah, that has <laughs> <A> plummeted <lot laughs> down, the, down the hot topic uh, issues. And the first thing that we are actually going to talk about is WWE woke up this morning uh, as we're recording here on Tuesday and decided that Netflix is the perfect place for their flagship show, Monday Night Raw. So the news broke early this morning, uh, vetted on multiple uh, sites, CNBC, ESPN, Bleacher Report, everything was blowing up on everybody's phones, social media, nonetheless. Uh, WWE Raw has agreed to sign... WWE Raw goes to Netflix in 2025. The deal is a 10-year, $500 million per year deal, totaling $5 billion. So there is an opt-out clause that Netflix can do after five years, or they can also extend another 10 years. Okay? (laughs) Okay. This is on top of deals that have already been been put in place for SmackDown, which is going to return to the USA Network, on a five-year, approximately $1.4 billion deal. NXT is also going to go to CW in October, around the same time SmackDown was as well, for five years, about 20 to $25 million per year for that as well. Last time WWE did a streaming rights uh, negotiations with marketing, they had SmackDown got a billion dollars for five years, Raw got a billion dollars for five years. This time around, with the addition of NXT... SmackDown and Raw total deals for uh, for all three shows is upwards of six and a half billion dollars in total over ten years. Well, five five billion over ten years for Raw in and of itself. But if for yeah. if for in the off chance that Netflix opts out, spoiler alert: they're not going to opt out. Raw already banks two and a half billion. They've more than they well over tr- almost tr- ah, they've well over doubled all their TV rights deals this this go around. Um, it is <clears throat> absolutely mind blowing what they've done. The landscape of pro wrestling uh, has completely changed with this because guess what, folks? Raw moving to Netflix means ratings don't matter um, anymore at all. Have it? <laughs> yeah, because they won't yeah. yell them. <laughs> we we'll have no idea. It's the smartest thing Raw ever done. Now we have no, no idea real. what the ratings are. We just have no idea because Netflix won't fucking tell yeah. you. Yeah. So, it's, <laughs> well, that actually, yeah. that's rumored that's going to change because um, with the ad tier, yeah, the ad tier on Netflix, um, they're going to have more reason to give out viewership publicly for advertisers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we might actually get ratings. It depends on what because the, there's so many questions for this. There is with with Raw because Netflix doesn't have the built-in capabilities of live streaming like like a Peacock does or Amazon does. Mm. Just Netflix just doesn't doesn't have it. They tried it with Chris Rock's comedy special. Um, I don't know how that worked honestly. I watched it after the fact. But Netflix isn't known for that live streaming technology. Yeah. However, 
the WWE Network was. So maybe WWE can be like, hey, here's how we did it. Yeah. So so funny thing that you, you mentioned, and I do want to bring up this other thing that was pretty sneakily put in to the, the deal for Raw on Netflix. And I'm going to read directly from the press release from WWE. So it states here, um, as I can find it, uh, beginning in January 2025, Netflix will be the exclusive home for Raw in the U.S., Canada, the United Kingdom, and Latin America, among other territories with additional countries and regions to be added over time. That's very important. Likewise, as part of the agreement, Netflix will also become the home for all WWE shows and specials outside of the U.S., uh, inclusive of Raw, SmackDown, and NXT, as well as the company's premium live events, which include WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Royal Rumble, WWE's award-winning documentaries, original series, and forthcoming projects will also be available on Netflix internationally beginning in 2025. Translation, starting in 2025, Netflix owns all of the international streaming rights for WWE. Anybody outside of the United States will get all of their WWE content on Netflix. The U.S. were stuck with Peacock. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, dude. U.S. Uh, <laughs> heavily in VPNs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I wonder how many people are actually going to do that because now, if you want all of rest, then you got to pay for two subscriptions. Yeah, I, I, I foresee that change. Which is messy. Yeah, it's very messy. It's, it's, it's messy. Like WWE is almost. I don't want to say it's spreading too thin, mm-hmm. but. It just it doesn't it make more sense for all of your content and all of your library to be on one place. It does, and I I think the issue is they are already in bed with Peacock. Mm-hmm. I think that I think that's pretty much what it is, and they've got to run this Peacock deal out because on, on top of the SmackDown deal uh, to USA, WWE still has to produce primetime specials on NBC at least four times a year. Yeah, so they're stuck for a while. Yeah. How long is that deal good? Uh, until- five years. Okay. So. Five years from now? Uh, five years from October, when the deal begins. Okay. So this is mm-hmm. coming October. Yeah, this is coming October. The, other, the only thing that's also pretty interesting, so WWE's Raw deal ends in October of 2024. He, you know what's pretty funny, well, Ricky? Yeah. Well, that's By the time... season premieres of the, sh- the seasons for like Raw and SmackDown. Yeah, but also here's the thing. They don't have a deal in place from October to January for Raw. That is still up in limbo. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's very not that's good. Still up in limbo about how we're going to pull that off. Uh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Randy Orton kicks Triple H in the head and goes, "Sorry, Paul, it's the season premiere." <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. We don't have any wrestling for three months. <laughs> I would personally love an off season. I, I yeah. Just not October to Dece- not October to January. Yeah, though. I don't know what they're gonna do with that. It it is mind blowing, and I I know from an American standpoint, it seems like we're getting housed because we kind of are. But WWE has been the global market is just bigger than us. You know, this makes it uber convenient for anybody outside of the U.S. And we're gonna struggle a little bit. But when someone's willing to give you five billion dollars yeah i mean hey Ricky, it's only five years what's funny about that netflix opt-in deal it's like hey you can opt you can opt in just in time for another billion dollar deal for smackdown too <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so, yeah whoever whoever did this deal like nick khan like knew exactly what he, like the, the correct con yeah, the correct knew con. exactly what he was doing with that opt-in deal yeah. for another five years because otherwise no, opt out for five netflix, extend for ten that's what i mean opt opt out for five but then at the same time it's like hey smackdown's also available yeah. let's let's opt out and make a new deal for both yeah. or opt out and be like okay we're gonna go somewhere else hey jeff bezos we're calling yeah, you exactly you know what i mean like and that's the crazy thing and so when you look at the market for streaming we're gonna talk a little business here when you look at the market for streaming amazon is in bed with the nfl it actually does a pretty good job yeah. mm-hmm. it's pretty great pretty great uh uh, they do for Thursday night football, even though I hate Thursday night football, but that's I hate the concept of Thursday night football. Um I liked I it on Prime, actually. Yeah, no, and, and like the NFL on Amazon Prime is really fun to watch. I just don't like that it's on Thursdays because it's all you know, health concerns and all that stuff for football players. Um mm-hmm. Peacock, yeah, yeah, it's tough. Peacock is in bed with not only WWE and their streaming stuff, and they do a pretty good job. They also have Sunday night football, they have the freaking Olympics. Um, and the Big Ten, they have mm-hmm. the Big Ten and Notre Dame, but they stream their stuff on all the freaking time. They get college yeah. sports. ESPN, yeah. 
streams everything in their mother and they have UFC. Netflix has nothing. HBO Max is going to get HBO slash Max is going to get AEW whenever they figure it out because they have and the N- and the NBA and the NBA the NBA on TNT <laughs> and yeah the fucking NBA Ricky you yeah. can't forget because <laughs> I said, I said AEW before the NBA I forgot I forgot <laughs> come on Ricky. this is a wrestling podcast Will dude yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the NHL gets signed before AEW NHL has a, a streaming deal the NHL has ESPN ESPN Plus. Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. Have a deal. Okay. Um, you know, MLB kind of goes in between a lot of the different streaming services. Um, be that as it may, Netflix has nothing. So this is a better deal for WWE because Netflix was desperate. Hey, we should have seen this coming. Remember Netflix had Lucha Underground? <laughs> it's true. That's very true. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. It's very fucking true. awesome. So Lucha, Lucha. So this is a, this is a wild, wild um, thing that WWE has done. It's going to change everything. Um, Tony Khan's probably crying right now <laughs> about everything. No, he's just glad he didn't. He's no, he's he's so happy they didn't go to Warner Brothers. He's just <laughs> fucking ecstatic right now. He is just like, oh, thank God. <laughs> He is. He just avoided a heart attack and a stroke. He's <laughs> fine. He's doing just fine right now. <laughs> yeah. No. It is. It is pretty crazy. And so another crazy thing that happened. So Raw on Netflix happened. The news broke like seven seven thirty this morning. Less than a half hour later, it was announced <laughs> that The Rock. <laughs> is officially the head of the table and has it is a new member of the board of directors for the TKO Group Holdings, you know, the company that was created for the UFC and WWE merger. We kept talking all this time. The Rock came back on the first Raw saying, who's going to, should he sit at the head of the table? We didn't think it was the board of directors, but The Rock fooled us all. And that's what I'm hearing. The greatest thing about this with The Rock being on the board is he he made out like a bandit because as part of a deal for The Rock to be a member of the TKO board of directors, he gets the full rights, to, he gets the full trademark rights to the name The Rock. They go to him. They are no longer owned by WWE. The Rock gets his name. Flat out. And you and you thought he was gonna wrestle it in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. He's not, All of your fools. He's not even I'm gonna sorry. wrestle in Mania at this point. Like he's uh, he, he's definitely wrestling listen, in WrestleMania. He he he's he just claimed himself as the head of the table now. He he, he owns Roman. <laughs> like that's, Yeah, I mean technically yeah. Yeah, well, I, I guess he already won the feud if you put it you put it like that. He already, yeah, won. I guess he already won the he already he won. Won the feud. There's nothing. And maybe he's not maybe he's not wrestling at WrestleMania. Maybe you're right. It's just <laughs> maybe we're all teaser. fooled. It's maybe we're all marked. <laughs> it was a tease for the wrong thing. He tickled all balls. <laughs> he didn't like it. It was just, he just needed he the rock needed help making a decision. <laughs> he said, should I sit at the head of the table? I think that's what sealed the deal. He was like, hey, should I sit at the head of a table? He and I, meaning board of directors. Did, did, you, did you hear that crowd on one of the board directors? I don't, okay, okay, this quick, quick sideburg. I don't know why, mm-hmm. but during that promo when The Rock was like, I'm going to go to eat tonight, I pictured Applebee's. <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> But I pictured the rock. I know, I thought that too. <laughs> I thought of the rock. Going That's to the eat American eat experience. Going to Applebee's, <laughs> Chili's, something like that. I can I was like, yeah, Dwayne Johnson's is going to go eat at the head of the table at an Applebee's. He was like, hey, after the, sh- after the show, it's two for an Applebee's on me. We're going to get half apps at Applebee's. <laughs> All right, so this is a double whammy. Uh, uh, kayfabe, what? Welcome back, by the way, again. Um, but you came back on a crazy day for wrestling. What are your thoughts on WWE's going to Netflix, Raw's going to Netflix, and The Rock is The Rock is the head of the table. What are your thoughts on this? So The Rock being the head of the table, not surprising at all. Can't wait to see him win the Royal Rumble or win at WrestleMania or some <laughs> other sort of nepotism. That no, but go ahead. my this is my joke booking. Obviously, what 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 is his position? He's on the board of directors. He, is he? He's just on the board. Yeah. So, board of directors Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He's going to come in number thirty at the Rumble. He's going to win. 
Um, Cody's not going to finish his story. CM Punk's not going to finish his story because The Rock is going to win. Rock's going to continue. So I'd rather have The Rock than the other old guy that popped up on Raw in a vi- video package. Um, oh my God. <laughs> Hulk. Let's not talk about it. We're going to go to Rat. Um, I'll, I'll get in the post. I'm very curious what I missed. I missed Hulk Hogan on Raw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hulk, H- Hulk Hogan teased a uh, rumble pop up. <laughs> Oh, stop it. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. <laughs> he no. said, okay, so quick sideberg on the side. Go ahead. Hogan did on Raw a, um, it, the Hulkamania is 40. They're celebrating 40 years this of Hulkamania because it's going to be 40 years of WrestleMania, and WrestleMania started with Hulkamania. I get it. That, yeah, that, that is, so, that, all that is true. So it's like five minutes of Hulk Hogan going on people that might that are going to do well in the Rumble, like Cody, CM Punk, Bailey, Becky Lynch. They even give him time and to talk about like, the women, which I was like, oh, that's bold. <laughs> yeah, he talked about women in a positive light, and th- and then he was like, who knows? Even I might have like have it in me for one more run. Yeah. Da, da, da. It's the only time I've ever tweeted in all caps. <laughs> it's like, do not do this. <laughs> I wish I saw Hogan's music queued up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here's here's the thing. So I, I want this to be a thing now. So let's talk about the pauses real quick. Having a pro wrestler on the board of directors of the controlling, you know, the controlling company that runs WWE is a win for like everybody in the business. So you have somebody who knows the business will now be able to make business decisions and maybe who knows actually improve UFC <laughs> from the stale mm-hmm. from the stale product that it is. Uh, ironically. I think UFC's fine. I know. I think UFC's but fine. But now the Rock is like the Rock's UFC's boss too, which is crazy. However, if the Rock does decide to go full Nepo and use his power to book himself into mania, he needs to take Vince's theme. He needs to do Vince's walk to the ring. Now, but he's going to corporate. Oh, my God. Corporate, <laughs> corporate Rock. Corporate come Rock. Back. Yes, I want Corporate Rock to come back. Like, let life imitate art <laughs> or art imitate life. Actually, I want the return of Corporate Rock. That's all I want at this yeah. point. I honestly don't expect him to do much. Um, on the business side, I think he's mo- mostly just there for optics. He's there for PR. He's there to raise the stock, he- and it worked. It w- oh, it worked. All right. look, <laughs> yeah. look at the chart straight up. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then it kind of dipped off a little bit. But I, I don't think he's going to actually be doing business deals. Like some people sit on the board seat, and don't sit on the board, and don't actually do anything. Right? They're just, they're just there just to be. The Rock's there. a PR. Uh, the Rock's a PR miracle for TKO at the moment. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. And it's just, he, he'll show up at foundations. He'll show up for certain events. He'll be at WrestleMania. He'll give those eyebrows out. Yeah, right. But he's <laughs> not, he's not like day to day. He's not going to be on Raw every week. He's not, he's never going to be, he's, he's, gonna be, he's, he's still going to be in movies, right? Yeah. You know what I mean, he's still mm-hmm. going to do his tequila. He's still going to do the XFL. He's still got to do many, many different pots. UFL. UFL. United Football so, League. They merged the USFL and the XFL. It's actually going to be really freaking awesome. So I, I don't I don't think this is as transformational for the company as people think it is. It's more of just optics and PR, which is still great. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. The Rock, like I was talking about this with one of my friends earlier. The Rock is his business portfolio was astounding. Seven bucks production. He has his own tequila, which is actually rather tasty. Um, he has his own healthy energy drink. He's one of the highest grossing actors for the past like decade. Um, he now is the owner of a professional football franchise for two years running. Like this portfolio is absurd of what he's done. Mm-hmm. He also had an own show about his life, which is actually pretty comical. Um, like the rocks just like the, the rock just finds a way to keep winning. He probably still has the contract with Under Armour, as you can see in his freaking shirt. Um, it, it's it's crazy what The Rock can do. And so that was this morning. <laughs> I'm not going to mention Black Adam to go on. I'm not going to mention that movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, he bullied, his, he bullied Vin Diesel to get him back into Fast and the Furious and save the Fast and the Furious franchise, which is really ridiculous to say in and of itself. Um, so that was all this morning. And then last week, which I thought was going to start the show, New Japan Pro Wrestling put out an official statement saying we're losing Okada at the end of January. And the crying emoji, <laughs> crying emoji, crying emoji, <laughs> skull and crossbones. And suddenly MJF became the most irrelevant person in pro wrestling yet again. Um, because 
one of arguably the greatest talents to never wrestle in WWE is hitting the free market officially a little bit early. Um, traditionally, New Japan um, contracts end in January, not both on uh, in February end in February, excuse me, and not before February. This is actually saying, hey, January thirty first, he's gone. He's totally gone. He's going to do a couple more shows, um, and he is is the hottest commodity. So, so okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this to you since you have been historically big on New Japan more so than myself or Will. Um, where do you want to see Kazuska Okada, the Rainmaker? I think a Rumble pop up would be super fun. But I don't know if he's going to go. Then. Well, his contract ends on the 31st, so he missed the Rumble. Oh. Uh, then he's going to go to AW, let's be real here. I, I have concerns about that, but Will, what do you think? I also think he probably goes to our AEW. Um, WWE is very crowded right now. Mm-hmm. It's very crowded right now. Don't get me wrong. He's going to take someone's spot. Sorry, LA Knight. <laughs> but uh, he would definitely take someone's top star spot. But it's just, what do you, what do you do? What does WWE do with Okada other than having in a tag team of Shinsuke that can be anime villains? Which, don't get me wrong, sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> but I just, I just don't see it happening. I think he goes I to know- AEW. Yeah, like, I know there's a lot of crossover between, like, New Japan fans and, and WWE fans, but there's more crossover to New Japan fans and AEW fans. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like Okada might not get the flowers he deserves in WWE right away. Like, if he had a normal run, if he popped up in the Rumble, fun, fine, great, but don't, like, sign him. I think he would just get lost in, in fucking catering. Yeah, here, here's my thing with Okada. If Okada wanted to go to AEW, he's already done it. Like I feel, I feel there's no mm-hmm. benefit of him going to AEW because he's done AEW. He's already done that. Why would he do AEW full time? He can have the best of both worlds, like he has been doing New Japan and AEW because they've been a working partnership. He did Forbidden Door. He tore down the house of Forbidden Door. Him and yeah. him and Brian Danielson tore it down again at Wrestle Kingdom. Not the best match on the card, but still a great match. The only thing, the only reason I would see Okada wanting to do maybe something with AEW is to do that third match with Brian Danielson because they've worked really well together. Yeah, they can do it. Mm. They can do it in WWE. <laughs> That's very true. So from that standpoint, I'm like, why would he go to AEW when he's already kind of doing that already? And I think the uh, like the only thing that's left for him to somewhat conquer would be WWE. Where he gets put, I don't know. There's been some undetermined yeah. rumors that maybe he does NXT. Who knows? It was yeah, right. It's it's the, it's no the, way. It, listen, we we said the same thing about Shinsuke, and he did an eight, he did an NXT run, a damn good one at that. Uh, it was someone with a keen eye noticed that on Punk's uh, backstage walk to the arena, Okada's translator was was seen backstage. Hmm. So interesting. That's not by accident. That's not by accident either. either. Yes, I I agree. Mm-hmm. Um. So, um, so my, my, my next question was, how is his English? But I guess I just got my you got answer. the translator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, I I I think. Looking at it from, like, he's already done AEW, he's done New Japan, he's done Impact slash TNA, which is kind of in a meteoric random rise, because, hey, Dolph Ziggler, um, you know, mm-hmm. what else? Why would you leave when, by the way, his best friend, essentially his best friend is now the president. Why would you leave that unless you got carte blanche to do something crazy and then come back whenever he feels like it? Dude, I would love <laughs> to see him and Brock, to be honest. <laughs> that would be... <laughs> I want the Okada. Oka, and Brock? Okada. I thought yeah. you said Okada and I thought you said Okada and The Rock. I was like, you're gonna let The Rock lose to a clothesline? For like, it would be the clothesline versus the people's elbow. Dude, that would be. <laughs> I forgot his finisher is literally a fucking clothesline. Yeah. Um, That's the one thing I don't like. No, about him and Okada. him and him and Lesnar. I think oh. would be. Oh. Huh. That'd be it. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Gunther. but yeah, that's that'd be a great match. It's it's gonna be crazy. The what the one thing we know for sure, also lost in the shuffle, is Tamatanga is leaving NJPW as well. And he oh no, he, not Tamatanga. He's actually a really good talent. I like he's like I I watched him wrestling. I was like oh he's really good. But he's leaving. He left. He left the 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 <laughs> the disease that is the Bullet Club behind. And now he's he's a free agent as well. But he's gonna get lost in the shuffle. But whenever that coin drops, like we're gonna hear a coin drop on a big show. Somewhere. That's why I really want to go to Raw after Mania Will. I'm not gonna lie, we're gonna hear the coin drop somewhere, and it's going to like it's going to be unbelievable. 
Where, yeah, wherever he shows up, it's going to be a while because he needs to relocate. Yeah. Right? Like, he's not going to show up February, like, 5th. <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> no, I'm like, like, hey, God's from here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, he needs he needs to relocate. Mm. He's got to, like, I don't know if he's got a family or kids or whatever, but move everyone over, buy a house, close, all that kind of it's bullshit. Take some time. That takes, yeah. that takes time. You know, he's got to meet with so many different people because he probably can't negotiate until February 1st either. He might be, right? an, he, they can probably be in talks, but not do like active negotiation. I don't know how the right. Japan contracts work. Right. Yeah. Like Senate representative or whomever. Correct. But so yeah, you're probably not, you're probably not going to see him until after mania. That'd be my guess. That'd be my guess too. Uh, but this is whether he shows up in AEW or WWE. WWE. Yeah. It, it, like this is April. This is the cash cow of, of the 2024 free agent market. Like whoever gets this is going to get at least a temporary major boost for a couple of weeks because there's a lot of un there's a lot of people who haven't seen Okada. I've been fortunate enough. I think Kay, were you there? You were there with us as well at uh mm-hmm. yeah. We were all fortunate yeah. to see it. He's a big deal. Like I I I crap on his clothesline, but he's still really good. <laughs> like he's he's got a presence. Like he's a great. He's on, I think he's only thirty seven too. So he's he's going to go for a lot of money. Uh, entering his prime. Yeah, he's entering his prime. Yeah. Just like Seth Rollins, who, who's with a very bright suit. Um, womp womp. Who, uh, unfortunately, Seth Rollins decided that he was trying to hinder Virginia, but Jinder hindered Seth Rollins um, last week. Thank you, TK, for making Jinder a main eventer yet again. <laughs> <laughs> My God. TK is sometimes the best thing on Twitter because it's just foot and mouth disease all the time. Um, Seth Rollins came out this week on Monday. I'll be yeah. back. Seth Rollins came out this week on, on Monday Night Raw. Uh, okay, I know you saw this. Uh, he started out the show saying he has a grade two MCL tear and I believe a partially torn meniscus on his knee. The same knee that he blew out years ago uh, during a live event. Same knee he has issues with. Um, and he pretty much said uh, he came out in tears playing it all up and pretty much said uh, no matter what he is going to find a way to defend the title at WrestleMania. Um, He said historically with surgery, it might take three to four months, which I did fact check. It's actually pretty legit, Uh, but he's going to try to, I guess, work through it or do something. Uh, But he is not relinquishing the title whatsoever. Uh, uh, at all, uh, as we know it right now. So initially, uh, Mix Murphy, what do you what do you got for this? What are your thoughts? That's crazy. Um, I think that he's gonna come back. Like, I think he's gonna sign like whatever contract at the Raw before Mania. Huh. I don't think he's gonna have a match queued up, ready to go until Barkley Center. Oof. If he has, if he has to be injured, Oof. and if it's supposed to take what, what do you say, three to four months? Three to four months, yeah. It, it, like he's All he's right. getting real close so, to that. Like it's like yeah. So right now it's the end of January. Mm-hmm. So that's all just shy of three months because the raw before Mania is April first. Correct, April Fool's Day, which is going to be freaking wild. I'm so excited. <laughs> I didn't buy my tickets yet, but I'm very, very excited to go. Um, I think that he's going to really have to, he's going to sign a contract very late, but he will be there. Yeah, I here's here's my gripe with this whole Seth thing. Seth, ever since he got the Shut Up Seth Heals a World title belt, because that's what it's actually called. <laughs> um, Seth has said he's going to be the workhorse champion. He's going to be there day week, uh, day in, day out, week in, week out, defending the title all all the time. And now he legitimately cannot actually defend this title. And now he's going to keep it and do what? Yeah, with it's it? hard to be a workhorse champion when you have it on a shelf for three months. Yeah, like I I feel like that storyline kayfabe perspective. I feel like that kind of screws up his gimmick. Like I. Yeah, I feel like he should. I feel it would have been the greatest time for Priest to cash in. I know Gunther Mike checked him, and I was, I was really, I and like it's really sad to say, but I thought Gunther was going to be like the ultimate heel and like kick him in the knee or something like yeah. that. 
like something totally the play of like i like the idea of Seth being like i'm not gonna d drop blah 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 but like kind of force him to drop so he kind of keeps that dignity but to be outright and be like oh i'm not gonna drop i'm gonna try to fight through it which i guess is workhorse like workhorse like and commendable it kind of takes away takes it away from it all um but i guess there... maybe he should be maybe he should be forced to vacate by like Adam Pierce or something. If Adam Pierce could ever do. Adam Pierce needs to be more like Nick Aldis because I love me some Nick Aldis. Um, yeah, I could like do without Adam Pierce. I would like to see someone else. <laughs> yeah, we we will see what happens. So so flow with me on this on this creative thing as well because I've been thinking about this ever since the potential injury uh, to Seth was not confirmed but now confirmed. I think there's a story here that WWE can play like long term booking. I would I would have Sep drop. Okay, Sep drops. You create a whole new world title main event. Slip Gunther in there, to be completely honest with you, because Gunther deserves a main event and mania after a year mm -hmm. he's had. And create the story that no matter, every time Sep gets close to main eventing a mania, he doesn't get it for some reason. Have him be that lovable loser type thing for a year and so he fights his mm -hmm. way into the main event of next year's Mania and wins the world title or even a bigger title. So everybody gets kind of a happy ending. You like you have Seth suffer in real life and in kayfabe, only to build him back up and to be like go on this legendary run the next year. That's I love that's that what honestly. I would love to do because like Seth's also thirty seven. You know, like he doesn't need to fight his way through this and. I was talking about it with somebody during Raw, um, and I said, sometimes you need to stop the performer from themselves. Mm -hmm. And I think this is one of those moments where you got to be like, Seth, no. <laughs> like, I know, I know this sucks, but no. Like, we still need you in the long term. And you can drop this and still get, you can still get your happy ending in some other way. Like, you can almost guarantee it. That that's my thing with Seth. Um, is that I know it sucks for him. I know it's for I know he really wants to do this, but there are so many other manias where he'll have an opportunity to get a proper main event. But I think you hold off to him, yeah. hold off on him for now, just for his safety. Like it's one thing if he blew out the meniscus, if he you know the MCL tear and the torn meniscus on one knee. But this is the same knee. This is the same bad knee. Um, I would just be cautious. I, I really would. That's what I feel like yeah. with Seth, you know. We'll see. Yeah, but like, you know, good luck to him in some point. I guess it's just the, the me and you show, okay, which we haven't done this in a very, very long time. Oh. I kind of like this. I love that. Yeah, so let's <laughs> Yeah, right. We should we should bring that we should bring that one back after, you know, the <laughs> the wild year I had last year. Um <laughs> Hope you've been listening. <laughs> Not yet. I have to catch up. It's a lot. Uh, we can talk off air. I can't wait. It's, it's a lot. I can't yeah, wait. don't. I won't be surprised if you end up calling me in the middle of the day about something that I said. Yeah, I've been. My goal was I want to start listening to podcasts during work again. So maybe I'll. Yeah, good. Mine are. This is a shameless promo. And by the way, but mine are like average about fifteen to twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Well. Oh, that's great. Love yeah, that. Yeah, because they're, they're also weekly recaps. Anywho, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> So, again, more news on WWE choosing violence once again. It was revealed yesterday, Monday, 122, WWE 2K24 oh is returning with the, I'm going to call it the Woe Edition, but it's not called the Woe Edition. I'm guessing this is, <laughs> I'm guessing this is news to you, Kayfabe. Um. It's not news to me. I saw it yesterday. Mm -hmm. Of course, Cody Rhodes, it's his giant fucking face. <laughs> Look at that! It's the douchiest. <laughs> it's the douchiest thing I've ever this seen. This is a beautiful cover. I, I don't care what anybody it's says. It's so. If Murica had a video game, <laughs> it would be this. They could have called it the Homelander edition, and it would have worked. The American nightmare. The American nightmare. <laughs> That's how I feel when I look at this. So Cody Rhodes like, is the. Good for yeah. him. Cody Rhodes is the standard edition cover boy. Cover athlete for WWE 2K24. Okay. Womp womp. Yes, but the deluxe edition of the, of the game is going to feature for the first time ever two women, Bianca Belair, the first ever African-American woman to ever grace the cover of a 2K video game. 
uh, WWE 2K video game, and Rhea Ripley as well will share recover on the deluxe edition. The standard edition is Cody, but the deluxe edition is Bianca and Rhea. Those are both going to be physical copies that you can purchase um, starting. You can do pre-orders now. The digital deluxe super amazing edition is going to be highlighting uh, this fit, the spoke cover because there's no actual cover because it's just going to be digital only. Uh, WWE 2K24, 40 years of WrestleMania with all these random uh, superstars from WrestleMania's past, obviously highlighting uh, the spectacle of WrestleMania. Mania, which is going to be turning 40. Uh, the big thing with that is that 40 years of WrestleMania is the showcase for this year. They did this 10 years ago with 30 years of WrestleMania and the WrestleMania showcase. So they're bringing it back, adding obviously a bunch of more stuff. Uh, some of the highlights that have been revealed for <clears throat> 2K24 this year uh, you can be a guest referee, you can have guest referee matches, title versus title matches. Uh, well, your favorite casket matches are returning. And Hell yeah. <laughs> it's second best in an ambulance match. Ambulance match is also coming back. A stretch, a stretcher match, what the fuck they call them nowadays. Ambulance match is going to be a part of the video game as well. War Games returns. Hell in the Cell Steel Cade is going to return. You're, you're getting new weaponry. You get a garbage can is going to be there. Uh, microphones can be used as a weapon. Uh, you'll be able to throw weapons at people now. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this game's this game's be fun. You know. I remember I remember I played I played twenty three as like a free weekend of like six mm -hmm. months ago, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's the game's great. Yeah. It plays great, smooth. There's there's um, even more improvements I can talk about here. We also have um, Gauntlet match is going to be there. You can do a backstage brawl without the four people. Eight person on eight person uh, player capability for Royal Rumble if you play online. Um, GM mode is going to be enhanced. You'll be able to have a talent scout for your GM. More GMs, more different <laughs> shows. You'll be able to trade. You'll be able to trade performers between shows as well. Um, they're going to add something called Super Finisher as well. Yeah. There's going to be like a, a blow for blow mini game that they're going to add. Uh, a whole lot of improvements. With every edition, is going to be something kind of crazy. Uh, if I read off in it correctly, the they're going to have like, so with every purchase of this game, you'll be able to get one free month of Peacock. Yay, everybody. Um, but there's, there's <laughs> yeah, there's going to be some exclusives for each thing. There's going to be a lot of my factions. Cody somehow finagled his way to getting Pharaoh as a GM for my faction. So you'll be able to have Cody's, his dog? Cody's dog can be a GM in my faction. <laughs> okay. There's a nightmare. There's a nightmare family bonus park bonus pack that you can buy with your digital deluxe and season pass, which includes Dusty Rhodes from 76. It also includes Undashing Cody Rhodes, Will's favorite. It also oh, go test Cody <laughs> <Yes>. Rhodes. <laughs> it also includes Stardust you can get as well. Stardust will be hey. available. Um, again, Pharaoh, I mentioned the big one, the 40 years WrestleMania digital deluxe will include a lot of alternate attires from WrestleMania past from past performers, Austin, uh, Charlotte, Rhea, Bianca, so on and so forth. The big thing with this is that if you buy the digital deluxe edition, the major, the major one hundred twenty dollar one, you'll also get the WrestleMania forty stage as an unlockable and playable stage. Mm. This game mm. comes out if you pre-order it and get like the digital deluxe or the really, really the forty years WrestleMania edition comes out March fifth. The standard edition, the America version, as Kefe so eloquently said, um, comes out March eighth, exactly a month before WrestleMania. Wait, wait, wait. So they're gonna leak the fucking WrestleMania stage before me. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be an after launch thing. So I don't know if it's gonna be like when like you get the get the game or if they're going to hold off on it it'll probably be an update it'll probably be an update yeah for after mm -hmm. mania yeah so i'm sure i'm sure the stage is designed oh yeah absolutely at least i would hope i would hope, I would mm -hmm. hope so <laughs> right by this point um i also saw a lot of people upset or saying it should have been bray wyatt it should have been this that or the other and you know i, I get the sentiment yeah of bray wyatt being on the cover would have been dope um I'm going to say, you know, you don't know what they could have tried or you don't know when this deal with Cody was signed. True. It could have been signed because how long it takes to develop these games, especially like if it was at the showcase would have been Cody. Um, it could, this, 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 this deal could have been done and set in development well before Bray Wyatt's passing. Yeah. So you have no idea, yeah, no. but uh, I think Bray will be the deluxe cover next year. 
Maybe. Yeah. Or JoJo could have said no. Right. I don't know. Why she, I don't know why she would. But they're helping them out. They're helping out the White or Brace family a lot because I. <laughs> the White. I was going to say the White family, but Brace family <laughs> um, a lot because I I feel like the Rotunda. The Rotunda. Family. There it is. Yeah, because they made Bray. They gave Bray a legend contract, and so everything that you purchase for Bray Wyatt merch will always be available. That's what it's. That's what it means. Any purchase of any Bray Wyatt merch will go directly towards his, directly to his family. That's the deal that was made. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. Uh, so who who knows what they're going to do with Bray? But for me, I really want this. Obviously, because of the history of Rhea and Bianca. I'm going to buy yeah. it. Yeah, dude. The 40 years of WrestleMania is a selling point. My faction's dope. I like Cody's the cover. Like, yeah. Especially if it's playable on the Steam Deck. It will be yeah, available on Steam, Steam, yes. <laughs> well, of course, I'm on Steam. I'm saying if, if it's if it's Steam Deck compatible. Ooh, I don't know specifically. yet. Specifically. I know you will. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah not a clue. But either way, I'm going to buy it. It's yeah, going to be just, great. Just buy it at Mania. Excited. It's going to be there at Access. That's why they've released it so early. My big thing is that... I want to buy the big digital WrestleMania one, but like I know physical media is about to become a thing of the past, so I also want the physical version of this as well. Um, so that's that's kind of my like con- that's the conflict I'm in right now because like I want yeah I, want dude, the I've, I haven't bought physical media in a long time I know, and it's gonna go away, and I want to get my hands on it before it like actually disappears. Uh, yeah, and Ubisoft is like, hey, I know you bought this game, but you didn't actually buy it. You bought a <laughs> That's my fear. Game, so that's you. my fear. Fuck you, real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's my fear. You steal it away. Steal it away. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's the thing. So, so Kayfabe, do you think you'll be, you know, dabbling in this? I will not. I get it. Um, I have not purchased a WWE game since 2K18. <laughs> nice. You didn't buy Will's 2K21 cover? You didn't buy Will's 2K21 cover? I didn't buy Will's 2K21 cover. I am so sorry. What's what's Will's 2K21 cover? I told you, you were the former cover cover of 2K21. I was? That was your fact. Oh, that was my fact? I I I don't know why I didn't buy that one. I don't know what my royal fact is. Oh, you're... I've seen seen three royal facts from me today, No, there's only two. (laughs) <laughs> I saw three 15 days since my last incident. There is another one. Then, then no, that the other one. one right here is K, who potentially might be a mystery Royal Rumble entrant. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. You heard it <laughs> first, folks. Uh, right here. K was on the Indies. <laughs> you were on the Indies. <laughs> it is up in the air. And speaking of which, K. Eddie Kingston's your Tell me, <laughs> mark out for me real Did quick, K. Tell me about this moment when you realized that they brought back Pete Dunn officially and Butch is now a thing oh, this... of the past. Oh, you mean the scream that I scrummed this morning watching SmackDown? <laughs> yes. yes, tell me. I, wanna... like, I read that this morning. I was like, well, I'm going to respond to that later. The scream the that scream I scrummed. The scream that I scrummed. <laughs> yeah, did you... Ricky just late put this in the show just because you said the word scrum. I no, I was going to put it anyway because I almost <laughs> popped in my own place when I when I realized that they were bringing Peter back. This butch bullshit has been a waste of time. And he's, I don't know. I, if there wasn't so much going on in the main title picture, I would think this is the beginning of Pete Dunn. I want to see him come for Gunther in the worst way. So I am really, I am really sincerely hoping that over the next year, Gunther wins the title. I could see Pete Dunn winning the Rumble like next year, mm-hmm. coming for Gunther. So I'm going to scrump and scream <laughs> and w- manifest um, a Pete Dunn 2025 Royal Rumble win. Y'all heard it here first. Honestly, I've learned throughout our time together on with Showcase okay, not to mock your predictions because we mocked for years that CM Punk would never come back and now he's come back twice. <laughs> Three times. Three times. Yeah. He came back on my birthday the first time. Yeah. Then he came back at Survivor Series and now he's going to main event WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. I'm happy for Pete Dunne. He looks so much happier now. He looks so much more comfortable. I I, I, I miss I miss his jacket. Oh, the jacket's great. Yeah. Jack is so dope. But you could even tell in his entrance, it was the most himself he's looked in like years. Yeah, I mean, it's about time that they Tyler Bate and Pete Dunn finally get out of NXT. They've been there for like eight years. Like I have a picture when Dave and I went to Orlando at Access, a picture with uh with Bate and Dunn 
like in when they did access photos and everything. Yeah, I met Tyler Bay five years ago at this yeah. point. They are. What if they brought back British Strong Style? Would you be okay with that, Kay? I wanted. I wanted. I was literally just thinking, where's Trent Seven right he, now? He's, I know they fired he's, him. And all. He's roaming around somewhere. <laughs> He's I would. He's yeah. <laughs> I would. I would mark out so hard if they did like a true British strong style. Bring like Trent. Reunion. Bring Trent as a manager, and it'll be fine. Mustache man. Mustache man. Bring Trent yeah. as a manager, and they'll be fine. I I love all of them. Those grizzled young veterans stay wherever the fuck they're they in, are. I think they're in TNA. Fine. I love. God, all right, thank I, God. I loved them. God, they made me want to stop watching NXT. It might be the reason I actually stopped watching NXT. <laughs> Okay, you didn't really. Should I? They were everything on NXT UK. Yeah. NXT UK just hit. Differently. Should I tell you about Noam Dar is on your is on the screen right now for NXT, and I actually love what Noam Dar is doing in NXT at the moment. What is Noam Dar doing? Noam right Dar is being the most ridiculous Noam Dar for the last like six months on NXT. He's he's lost his mind. He actually has a group of of people of color as his faction. They're called Metaphor, but they have like a power. Stop I'm so it. serious. And they have like a Power Ranger like <laughs> entrance. Like when they come out together as a group of four, everybody is like, they. everybody's silhouette is behind a different color scheme. So it looks like a power. Is he their token white friend? Yes. <laughs> is, is Jordan Miles bad? No, no Jordan Miles. <laughs> Miles is not bad. ACH? ACH is he no, bad? No, he's not bad. I literally forgot. I'm like, who the fuck is we Jordan We all forgot Miles? after he left. <laughs> yeah, he got he got mad of getting a t-shirt. Rightfully so, but like, I yeah. I re- Oh, I remember him now. Yeah, we all forgot. Jesus Christmas. Jordan Smiles? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. yeah the, the only failed breakout tournament winner was Jordan Miles in instance Ugh, cameron grimes baby cameron grimes should have won that year <laughs> <laughs> to the, to moon. the moon. i said it at the time of cameron grimes he's <laughs> oh man we, who knows if we actually show up in the royal rumble and now it's now it's time to talk about one of the biggest shows of year and probably personally for a lot of people one of their favorite shows of the calendar year of any wrestling promotion it is the royal rumble show uh saturday going up this saturday january 27th uh at tampa St. Pete in the Trop, that lovely baseball arena that we all love. Oh, <laughs> I forgot they're playing in the Trop. Dude, yeah. <laughs> gross. Yeah. It's, it's so lovely that even Tampa Bay people don't even show up to their own team's, team's home games. And they're actually pretty good half the time, which is kind of a shame. I hope they move. Uh, but also the... Welcome yeah. back, friends. Uh, also, the former home for a while of the Thunderdome, if everybody remembers correctly. It was a Thunderdome uh, a site <laughs> as well. Uh, so we're going to talk a lot about the Rumble uh, from here moving forward. But first, I want to start off with, what is your favorite thing about the Rumble, Kayfabe? I like the energy of the Royal Rumble, that literally anything can happen. Mm-hmm. It's very exciting to feel like that there are no limits and that all possibilities can be entertained. It feel I don't know. It's like reality suspends during the Royal Rumble. Yeah. It is one probably one of the more most pure shows that remain in in all of pro wrestling. Well, what are your thoughts on the Rumble? I would say in recent years, it's the most exciting part is the final four yeah. of mm-hmm. both men's and women's. It's always like the last few, especially because with with Rhea and Bianca, the past few mm-hmm. years, it's been like, all right, who's going to win this thing? And it's just been really nail biting. Last year, even though we knew Cody was going to win, him and Gunther had a few like, oh fuck, like he's what if, he, what if he fucks up? Like they had a really few of okay, if they mess up, <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Like there was a few really too close calls, yeah. and it's just always suspenseful. And then, dude, the point. It's gotta be the point. <laughs> point. The point is great. And they they end the night with the fucking point at a sign in pyro. Like what do you mean? It's the best part of the whole whole yeah. year. And happens in January. Yeah. God, it's my my alive. favorite mumble thing. Obviously, was when myself, Will, and Dave uh, went down. We went to the first ever Women's Royal Rumble, which will always be something that was really cool to see. Um, and also, yeah, we didn't, we didn't get we didn't get to hear Stephanie on commentary. Thank <laughs> God, but well, we got to, we got to hear Vicky uh, scream her scream the entire time to the stage, which was lovely. One of the best parts of that Women's Rumble. <laughs> Love that one. Love yes. that one. Vic, yeah, Vicky Rail is an absolute sweetheart. We met her a couple of times. Uh, and it's also Philadelphia. 
how ironic as well, is also where we met officially, because he wasn't blacked out at the time, Ramp with Ant and Issa and Mance and Antisocial Kim, which was kind of the beginnings mm -hmm. of WrestleAddict Radio to begin with. So it's always going to be a, a pretty interesting thing as well. So let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about uh, the Royal Rumble matches in and of itself. Now, the Royal Rumble card in particular, it's about four matches for this entire card. Last year was five. Um, but this year is only four that have announced thus far. But in the men's and women's Royal Rumble, let's start with the women's. Officially, as of this morning, as I looked on ESPN, there have only been five women announced for the women's Royal Rumble. It's, remember, it's 30. 30 women. 30 women. Five women have been announced. The official people who have entered the Royal Rumble for the women are Bianca, uh, Becky Lynch, Maxine Dupree, Nia Jax and the hugger herself or the former hugger, uh, Pamela Martinez, also known as Bailey, have been entered. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's Can all. I it's jump in? Yeah. Um, I have CBS up and CBS also has um, Ivy Nile listed as confirmed. That might have happened last night and maybe it's not updated. OK, so we'll add Ivy Nile. Yeah. According to CBS, it says Bailey, Nia, Becky, Bianca, Maxine and Ivy. OK, Nile. so six. So we've got we've got 24 slots. Uh, uh, to fill, and they're going to be filled with all, a lot of random people or whatever. Uh, That's a lot. Yeah, there's a, 24 slots mm -hmm. to fill, so I'm going to throw it to you, Will. Name, and there's going to be a lot of people that are going to show that's going to be expected, but give me at, le at least three people that are going to be unex that are unexpectedly going to show up in the Women's Rumble. Oh, Christ, dude, the Bella Twins, because they're one they're person. They're the Garcia Twins. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, I can't use Bella <laughs> they, they, Yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> So the Bella Twins, um, probably Trish, Maybe. and uh, ooh, not Beth Phoenix. Um, <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> how about a real wild card Go here? Stephanie McMahon. Ooh. Oh, God. I kind of I kind of like that. I kind of like Stephanie showing up. Uh, like slapping like it, some people. Here's the thing. Here's the thing with Steph. Um, I, I think st I love heel. I loved funny heel Steph. Like remember when she fired Vicky? Like she was yeah. she was mm -hmm. so entertaining with that. Like I like kind of sniveling heel Steph. Steph at thirty would be absolutely hysterical. <laughs> would it be absolutely hysterical. I think she might do it just for shits and gigs. Uh, I like it. But kayfabe, name at least three. Unexpected people show. Um, my number one pick is AJ Lee. Mm, yeah. Um, who else? Unexpected. Unexpected. Or I don't think unexpected. Unex I mean, as people who are currently on the people who are not currently on the roster. Um, Naomi. Mm-hmm. Because didn't she drop? In she TNA? did drop uh, at Hard to Kill. Yes. Um, so yeah, AJ Lee, Naomi, um, one more, one more. Fuck. Yeah, it's hard. I need. It's real hard. Huh. I'm like thinking through like my whole life. Of <laughs> and like. The Fretz just say Eve Torres. I don't think Eve Torres is going to do it. Oh, Dude, oh, oh, dope, I know, man. I know, Eva Marie, obviously. <laughs> I'd be so happy if Eva Marie returned, I'm not gonna lie. You know what, I would want, I want Eva Marie to return so that um, Piper can destroy Eva Marie. Like, get that kind of devil off of her shoulder. Yes, the revenge. Yeah, get a little revenge, yeah. I think that would be dope. I also think AJ Lee is a matter of not, like... I think AJ Lee is eminent. I think Naomi returning, I think, is a big deal as well because they have really been highlighting the women's tag division, which is kind of ironic. Um, there's one person who I think might show, but maybe not. Who knows? Um, but I, I'll, I'll kind of kind of slip my stipulation, or I'll ask you guys a question. Does Jade Cargill finally debut at the Women's Rumble? Oh, yeah, duh. I don't know why I didn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I, I, I forgot I was, she was, I was signed. Still, I was thinking about this the other day. She's going to show up between number three and 12. I like that idea. Okay. Put her in early. You can give it, you know what? You can give it the AJ spot. The rumors are true. <laughs> <laughs> she signed six months ago. <laughs> I, I like that idea. Give, if the AJ spot was three, 
You're gonna have three. Let her go like at least fifteen to twenty minutes, and then get her out. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what? Fuck it. Put him in the final four. Screw it. Who cares? Just, yeah, just totally mess with everybody. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I, I the spot's gonna be her and Naya, right? She probably body yeah, what if she, Naya. What if then... she gorilla presses Naya? No, dude, that's not the crazy. <laughs> Um, yeah, body body slams Naya or power slam whatever the fuck Batista bombs Naya. <laughs> just have her go the thumbs just down. Just have her go full Batista bomb and have her like r- shake the ropes and everything. Dude, if she did the thumbs down and Batista bombed Naya, Jax, I would go and buy all of her merch. Fred's just in the chat going crazy right now. He's like Jazz, Layla, Caitlyn. Caitlyn would be fun. I don't think Caitlyn. Well, okay, if AJ Lee shows up. Caitlyn would be almost a lock, I think. Caitlyn would be Yeah, dope. Caitlyn yeah. and AJ Lee would be You're probably, you're probably going to see a, a lot of NXT women. Um, Roxanne Perez. Is, Darby, is Darby's ex still Gigi, there? yeah. I don't think... I don't, Gigi Yeah, I don't Dolan. think Gigi will... I don't think Gigi will be in the Rumble myself, but who, you don't know. There are so many open spots that we have no idea who might show up. I can see Michelle McCool again because The Undertaker's in town doing his Dead Man show. Yeah. I'm a big fan of Michelle McCool. Yeah. Um, but the big question is, who takes this thing? Who wins the women's rumble? I think Bailey. Okay. Yeah, I think I, Bailey is a solid lock for me because I, I really, I this because the story is her and EO clearly well, her and all the damage control, um, all the damage control because it's a matter of who is when they're gonna turn on Bailey, when they're gonna turn on Bailey, when they're gonna turn on mm-hmm. Bailey. I think Bailey pulls a fast one and turns on them. I, I can see the EO gives a thumbs up, thumbs up. Bailey just gives the thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, no. And especially because Charlotte's out. Yeah. Right. So that's just, that's a big, that's a big fly in the ointment. And you don't need Becky Lynch to win the Rumble to choose Rhea Ripley when she can just win Elimination Chamber. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So you, there's no one else who needs the Rumble win. Other than Bailey, because that's it's just a natural progression of this story. Um, I I can't imagine, and and everyone everyone else who could possibly win it has already won it. Yeah, Becky's won it, Charlotte's won it, Rhea's won it, Bianca's won it. Who else is Oscar's won it? Who else is left? Bailey. Bailey hasn't won it yet. Yeah, unless Sasha comes, unless Sasha comes back and Sasha. Wins I don't it. want to say that name because I don't want to jinx anything. Um, that would also be kind of wild. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of wild for that to occur if you would eat. And, and I think I think we're getting Hugger Bailey again. I think we're leading back to the return of a hugger. And I think nothing is. Remember, remember, remember Bailey's pop when she won money, women's money yeah, in the we bank. Yeah, were there. You <laughs> we were there. It's gonna be three times as bigger. It might pop a hole in that stupid dome they have in that stupid <laughs> building. <laughs> <laughs> if we do get Hugger Bailey. She's not going to show up till maybe uh, post Rumble or Mania if she gets if she wins. No, I know, I know. I'm saying the pop if she wins. Listen, though. I want because like like she like mm-hmm. she's supposed to be a heel. She's, yeah, but she's 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 due for a face turn. She's getting mean girl right and, now, which is kind of funny. Yeah, but I mean, the, the, it's a, it's a nice slow burn with damage control. It's a will they won't they for so mm-hmm. long. And Bailey's taking the bullets. It's they really they really are trying to kind of recreate that Sami Zayn magic. Yeah. Um. And they're they're getting there, and I I do think Bailey wins the rumble, and she teases going after Rhea, Rhea but it's just like you know what, no no no, fuck you, EO, I'm in control of damage control. Yeah, you know what I want. I'm picking- yeah, you know what I want to see happen. I want I want. Here's the thing. I want Bailey to win because I think Bailey's gonna win. She comes out to wrestle. She comes back. Hugger gimmick WrestleMania. So we get the wacky wavy inflatable arm floating to Ben. Oh yeah. Be so, <laughs> he's yeah. so happy, and then. Post Raw is the debut of Izzy, and then it's, it's the run for Izzy to retire Bailey. Dude, Izzy's oh still God. like Izzy's still like sixteen no, or seventeen she's years not. old. <laughs> she's on the Indies. Isn't Izzy eighteen? She's eighteen. She's on the Indies. I know she's. She's eight. She's on the Indies now. <laughs> yeah. She eighteen. She's a, she's an actual pro wrestler now. Yeah. I know she. I know she's on the Indies. Oh, she's, so she probably graduated high school then. I know, I know she skipped yeah. a year. I think. Yeah, she's intelligent. Did lady. you? Ricky, did you also see on Raw the little Easter egg? Why I think it was during the New Day backstage segment. You see Damage Control without Bailey walking with um, Asuka and what's her fucking name? Uh, 
the Asuka, other one. Dakota Asuka's in damage control. Dakota Kai, yeah. No, Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai, Asuka. It was the people in damage control, Asuka, and Asuka's tag team partner. I forgot who her name is. Oh, Kyrie. Kyrie, Kyrie Sane. They're all, they're all in, Kyrie they're all in Sane, damage thank control. You. Damage control is a five woman I faction. Oh, yeah. I thought they were all separate. Nope, they all joined forces. Um, so, you yeah, know. Oh. It well, was weird for them to be there. They were all walking around without Bailey. Yeah, no, it's they, yeah, that's that's kind of a thing. I and mean, then Bailey came out to do this really one-off segment with Becky and Nia, which wasn't that bad. Uh, I still think I think Bailey is the is the proper choice for this. But Kayfabe, who is your choice to win the women's rumble? Bailey is also my choice to win the women's rumble. I don't think it could be anybody. I else. want Nia to win to piss people off because I think that'd be fucking hysterical. Stop it! <laughs> it, would, it, would, it would be really funny. It would be really funny. <laughs> here's a, here's a name we didn't talk about. Do we see the ret- Sasha well, Banks? No, 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 <laughs> no. We talked about her too. Alexa Bliss. She no, could be back. She, she's had the child. Isn't she, it too? Or she gave birth a few she, months ago. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's possible. Oh yeah, oh yeah, duh. I always always forget about Liv Morgan. Whoops. Well, well, um, I think she's well. No, her suspension should be up because you know the the random marijuana charge. Her, you, oh, oh her yeah, suspension. yeah, the, yeah. But listen, that's one of the most beautiful mug shots I've ever seen. Carmella could come back. That's Carmella true. could also come back as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Carmella, Liv Morgan, and Alexa Bliss. I think all, could all come back. It's clearly not Lacey Evans because she's not going to go anywhere near that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of unpredictability in the women's rumble with the people who could show up, and I think that's what makes it great. Now let's move on to the women. As of right now, and you can double check this for James. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Do not do not put James Ellsworth in the women's rumble. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said I almost said Santina Morella, but I didn't make that joke last year. <laughs> yeah. So uh you can double check with for me. But uh for right now for the men's rumble, there's only about nine people who have actually officially declared according to ESPN. I have CM Punk, uh Homelander Cody Rhodes, uh Bobby Lashley. <laughs> The pettiest man in all of pro wrestling, Drew McIntyre. Uh, Gunther. <laughs> he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. He um, really is. Gunther, Chad Gable, Otis, Tazawa, pretty much all of Alpha Academy, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Is there anybody that I'm missing, k Uh, See, yeah, according to CBS, it says Cody, CM Punk, Shinsuke, Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, Gunther, Chad Gable, Otis, Akira Tazawa, Kofi, and Damian Priest. So, so there's 11. 11. There's 11 officials, yeah. so we have, oh, Jesus, 19 spots to be filled. <laughs> oh, you got the rest of you got the rest of Judgment Day. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> does Archer pull do the ladder stick again? You got you definitely got Archer. Mm-hmm. I, said, I said the rest of Judgment Day that is included. <laughs> of, uh, did, you, did you hear this so you Arch- about R Truth? What? What's the He's stat? selling more merch than Cena. I say I saw he's a top yeah. merch seller. He's selling more merch he's, than Punk. I thought he just beat CM Punk like for the week. I think he is the overall top merch seller currently. Good for him. <laughs> he deserves that's, it. That's unreal. <laughs> Honestly, let our truth win. Let our truth be in the final four and have the place go nuts. Like the best thing about the Royal Rumble is a bunch of marks, and marks will sabotage their own happiness just for a cheap pop. <laughs> Can I just say Liv is literally next to me nodding in agreement up, that our truth should win the rumble. Up, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> Listen, if our troop gets close to winning the rumble, they might have a Daniel Bryan incident on their hands. Because the fans Honestly, will turn really quickly on this. I am willing to let CM Punk's mania dreams die for our truth. <laughs> I really do want the Tom and Nick Mysterio shirt that r has come out with. The Tom and Nick Mysterio <laughs> thing is so, so fucking funny. So fucking stupid. I think Tom and Nick Mysterio should be the 29th and 30th spot. Honestly, I want Dom to come out as Tom and then Nick Mysterio to prove r truth correct. Mm. <laughs> like, Eat your like, I want that to happen so badly, but... <laughs> Who could be unexpectedly showing up at the Rumble? I have one in mind that I think would be a ridiculous pop for the marks as well, but I'm going to go with you, k Oh, Bubba Ray Dudley. Oh, ECW. That could be one. k who do you have? Hulk Hogan. Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> I don't need Mance to have a conniption. <laughs> yeah. Um, Goldberg. 
Goldberg, obviously. That'd be great. Um, um, who else? I have one. Brock's number thirty. Oh, that's stop that! I don't want. Brock's oh, oh no! This 30. is this is Brock season. We <laughs> yeah, Brock Brock eliminates Gunther. This is Brock. Se- Honestly, Brock Gunther Mania IC title. It's not gonna be IC title, but just I want that very I do badly. Too. Um, I, I like that idea. If you're not gonna give them the main event, um, I, I very desperately, I won't be heartbroken if it doesn't happen. I really would love to see MJF show up in the Rumble. <laughs> I would too. I would too. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like he's number like twenty five or something. Just give him the, give him the lucky twenty seven spot. I would lose my fucking mind. Oh yeah, no, that's a that's a total Long Island win. Wrestling merch. All of my merch is either CM Punk or MJF. That's gross. And like my one Goldberg shirt. Yeah, no, that that is crazy. I mean, Okada's the cast cow, but if like MJF also shows up, that's still a win. Gilbert's. I would love Gilbert. Gilbert. Gilbert had the greatest video for us that I think. The fresh I forgot we paid Gilbert money. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. Here's one that might happen, and I just want to do it again because I'm just a crazy mark, especially from the Rumble. Sean Spears is a free agent. I was, I was thinking Ty Dillon. I was thinking Ty, Ty, Ty Dillon's Dillon, at 10. <laughs> now it's 11. <laughs> They could do the spot that they did again, like Ty Dillinger's music hits, and then he gets beat up backstage. It would pop, honestly, the pop would be really good. It, Ty Dillinger comes in as the perfect. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ty Dillinger ten. <laughs> it was it was a great NXT gimmick. It was. Um, I I can definitely see maybe maybe Bob makes an appearance real quick because he's a backstage agent. Bob Rude. Uh, Braun Strowman is, has an eminent return. Yeah, oh, yeah Strowman would probably Strowman. like number number twenty eight or something, something like that. Get a, gotta get some beef in there. Um, Ty Dillinger comes out with eleven with an ego and a nosebleed. <laughs> 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 That's really good. Bo Dallas would be an interesting one, Fretz. But I want like Bo Leave Bo. I don't need Uncle Howdy Bo. God, Bo Leave. <laughs> Remember the B team? Yes, B team, B team, go, go, go. <laughs> team go, go, go. God, I never want to think of the B team ever again. They were so much fun, the though. The they were great day. to take a photo that with. Is, that is just Vince McMahon <laughs> written all over it. Honestly, Trick Williams would be great. I would love to see Trick Williams show up in the Rumble. Trick Williams, you could do Ilya Dragunov. Um... I have a feeling Dragon will be in the Rumble. Carmelo Hayes. Biggie. Biggie might be. All right. So if they did a new day, like a like Kofi or Xavier Kevin's Kofi comes in and then Biggie shows up, Biggie would be a beautiful return. I like the idea of Maven just for shits and giggles. <laughs> oh, Andrade. Uh, Andrade is definitely Andrade. coming. Andrade. Someone's got to make money in that family. Charlotte's out. So <laughs> this point, oh, Ric Flair is still making money. Oh, yeah, right. Um. I have a question. Yeah. Does anyone know when the Hardys AEW contract is up? No clue. I'm not going to lie. I know. The only thing I know of recently about the Hardys is that uh, I think Matt pissed off Rebby again because Rebby's been going off. <laughs> have you seen Rebby Hardy's TikToks? No, I've seen Rebby Hardy in person, and that's a beautiful woman. Um, but... Yes, she is a beautiful what woman. Did... Rebby Hardy's TikToks has been teasing a potential Rebby Hardy, Matt Hardy divorce. Yeah, I, that's what I know. That's why I said I know I know Matt pissed off Rebby again, and, so I, and Rebby's been going off on social media. Well, Jeff has also been kind of going off about AEW a little bit on social media, being like, we're only on AEW Rampage, basically. Well. Water is wet. Um, so like, like <laughs> come on, Jeff. I feel like I feel like Jeff's cycling. Um, that's just me. Like he's good for a while, and then he'll get upset and find a way out and go somewhere else. Uh, who knows? Well, that's what I was trying to see. Can they like pop? They've up? done probably it. Probably not. not. I mean, they've done it before, but who knows? Um, I had another one that I thought would be really fun. Oh, Curtis Axel. I want Curtis Axel to return and claim that he has still never lost. I forgot about him. Because remember, he was never eliminated from that one rumble. That's right. But this one is the hardest one to book because you can go so many ways. This Cody can win. Punk can win. 
Gunther, you can see winning. Lashley could win. Drew, probably not. Um, to be completely honest with you, no. there's money in Drew being a petty bastard, which is Drew, which is what Drew is right now. Uh, it's it's punker, Cody. Yeah. It that's it. It's one of those two. I don't know what you do with this too, because you, they had the perfect promo against each other on Raw. It was beautifully, beautifully done, and it almost seemed yeah. like they're teasing. Cody versus Punk, which kind of be a slap in the face for the cover boy, but I get it. Um, so I, I honestly don't know. Like, Punk makes sense. And I think Punk makes the most sense to me right now. I think Cody also, but Cody also. I know. Sense. Cody's got a lot of momentum being essentially a standard edition cover boy, and that's a big deal. Because, like. But he's only the standard edition. He's not the But he's the edition, edition that most people are going to buy. The deluxe edition is going to be for true. the true dedicated people and people who like women's wrestling. Um, but, like, Cody's the face. Mm-hmm. I, I I understand Bianca and Rhea are on the cover, but Cody's the face of this. Of this. He's the official cover boy, you know. Um, and so there's a lot of goodwill to that because you never want to me- let your cover athlete lose on a big stage or not get a big moment at a big stage. You know, I, I was almost held. Ben, I was like, oh, Cody's winning WrestleMania. And Ben the Rock, and Ben the Rock became the the chairman of the board. I was like, oh, maybe Cody's not doing anything special today. Um, Cody makes sense. I could see them doing a triple threat with Cody, Rock, and Roman. Ugh, no, yuck. And then, I agree, yeah, yuck, yuck. But I can see it happening. Yeah, it, it could be convoluted. So, like, but, like. Who wins? I mean, also Seth getting injured throws everything up in the air too. They're not stripped. Yeah, though. not stripped, which kind of takes me off. I I w- I would have enjoyed the idea of they just pull a ninety like ninety five or ninety two Rumble and then like the twenty sixteen Rumble. Whoever wins the Rumble wins the world title. Easy pick, you yeah. know. But they're not going to do that because Seth's going to fight through it. Like I think is a bad move. Um, you know. I think it's the right move. Uh, uh, it it takes away from his character, in my opinion. Um, yeah, but business. I, <laughs> I, I get it, but you have enough money on that roster to replace Seth. Yeah, no such thing. Yes, there is. There's money in Seth being the lovable loser, not getting his Mania main event, and him having to fight his way back to Mania the next year to get the main yeah, event I and win the deserves, title. I, I, th- I, think, I think he deserves the uh, main event. I think he deserves he it. He does, but that's why you have him lose. Or not, or not he make is, it there. He is, he is, he has earned the right to see if he can come back from the injury. Yeah, they can always strip him later. Yeah, but like it's it's again, he you can strip him and make it kind of this thing like he's cursed to the main event, and then have the story be him winning the main event next year. That was that's my thing. What if they did it in Serum Title Champion? Don't do that. Then we get a real world title situation, and yeah, God, an interim yeah, title. No. What is this, Tony Khan? K? Come on, <laughs> no. I wouldn't be mad about it. It gives, something, would. gives the belt something to do. <laughs> Great. CM Why? Punk wins another fake title. <laughs> he puts well, an X through it again. Yeah. God, that'd be so funny. <laughs> He's finishing the story. <laughs> no, my God. Interim chance would just would be bad. But I mean, all right. So if you, you know, had to flip a coin, well, who are you taking as the men's Royal Rumble winner? Oh, I'm, oh God damn it. It's it's really hard to see CM Punk coming back to WWE of all places. His first televised match, by and, the way. And immediately winning the Rumble. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's very hard to see that happening, but crazier things have happened, like CM Punk coming back at all. <laughs> yeah. That being said, I'm going to give it to CM Punk. Yeah. Kayfabe, are you also going with the Punks there? Occam's Obviously. Razor, man. Occam's Razor. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think it's gonna be I for me, I think it's pump. What? God damn it, I'm gonna have to watch NXT. William Regal came back to NXT. His 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 no TV clause is up. It's been up for a while. You know, so what's Regal so can show funny? up on TV. I was TV. talking about this the other day. Mm-hmm. I was wondering when he could be on he TV. He could have been on TV a while ago, but they probably just finally made it made sense. Um so that's good for NXT. Props to him and welcome back, William Regal. I but I think I'm also gonna Oh, nice. So Ava, the Rock's daughter, is the, essentially uh, going to be the soon-to-be GM of NXT. And Regal's going to mentor Ava. Oh. I like it. 
Okay. I like it. It's good. Uh, yeah, I think Punk wins this. I think that's a good deal. He's going to go through a lot of people, especially if Brock shows back up. Like, how does Punk eliminate Brock from the Rumble? I don't think Punk is going to be the one to eliminate that Brock. That might be a good thing for everybody involved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brock would just be like, no, no, no. Nice I love CM Punk. Do I think he's going to eliminate Brock Lesnar? No. Yeah. If anything, it has to be like Gunther eliminating Brock or something. Or like Maven doing it for some fucking random reason. Uh, which would be great. Or like multiple people. What if What if him. Tyler Breeze and Fandango showed up as Breezango? Oh. <gasps> I will Isn't Terry love... Dango still in TNA? No, he's just running around the Indies. He can show up. Good for him. I would. Oh, maybe, maybe love... he's Zack Ryder. That would be great. Woo. Uh, woo, 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 woo. You know it. Chelsea's been stealing his finisher, the Rough Rider. Which, by the mm-hmm. way, big Chelsea Green fan. That she is fucking hysterical. Um, absolutely hysterical. Justice for Chelsea Green, by the way. Uh, but yeah, that's the Royal Rumble. Um, it's gonna be very must see. There's also other things going on in the Royal Rumble. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, what's probably going to be the presumed main event? Roman Reigns in a fatal four-way against AJ Styles, Randy Orton, and LA Knight, who's losing his stock minute by minute. <laughs> um, this is going to probably be the main event with the Royal Rumble matches going on uh, before this. Oh, this is going to be a fun match. Um, LOL Roman Reigns, obviously. Correct. Yeah. 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 L- Although, if with, with this going on last, it's a good point, Ricky, because with this going on last, you know, obviously it's going to go on last because it's Roman Reigns' title yeah. run, but you need to have that closing moment of the Rumble be meaningful, right? It's not, it can't just be Roman Reigns lifting the title and Michael Cole going, we'll see you tomorrow Because <laughs> ah! remember, last, right? year, <laughs> last so, year was Sammy turning. Sammy one of the Zane. Biggest pops in, yeah. One of the biggest pops I've ever heard in my ears. Yeah, um, I still got it. Do you really, really have it? a chair yeah. shot? Yeah. I mean, you mean yeah, this one? one? Yeah, this one. It's, yeah, this. Yep, that's like eight seconds of just screaming. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you got to end it on something. And what's better than Cody Rhodes coming down and saying, I choose you, and then doing the point? That would be great if Cody wins. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, there is plenty of different ways they can go about this, because this, this Roman, LOL Roman wins is a very anticlimactic ending to this card. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to hide the fact that Roman, I think, has passed one of Bruno San Martino's records, which is also kind of freaking absurd um, as, as a big thing, because you got to highlight Roman's streak at some way, shape, or form. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's going to be great. But also, with this going last makes me think, uh, well, here's the thing. If this doesn't go, what if this, what if this goes first? That's gross. I don't think, I don't think that's possible. No way. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. If it goes first, that could mean The Rock wins the Rock. Because <laughs> placement of this match key. is very important yeah. to who wins the Rumble, right? Because it's either going to be this or the men's Royal Rumble, that main events. And what's who's the only thing bigger than Roman Reigns at the end of the card? The Rock. Yeah, it is not a coincidence that they announced The Rock being part of the board the week of the Rumble. Yeah, yeah. so I, I doubt it. I still think Roman goes on last, yeah. but I think Roman. I think knows? Roman stacks all three of them, which is an absurd vision. God, that's yeah. wild. <laughs> but that also might happen. Was he just spear all three of them? No, I think he spear. I feel like they they do a thing where like it's going to be like a house show finish, finisher mayhem, and like the last person standing gets mm-hmm. speared, and then Roman just stacks all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Someone comes in with shenanigans. Maybe, maybe Rikishi comes back. Rikishi for the Rumble? That'd be pretty Can we get cool. a Rikishi dance-off? <laughs> I'd love it. My, 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 I have a question because LOL Roman wins. Who gets the RKO? Who gets the most devastating RKO? All of them. Uh, AJ. AJ's doing a, a f- forearm. He gets RKO. That's true. Yeah, everybody's getting RKO. This is going to be a fun match. It's a fatal four-way. Roman doesn't have to be pinned to lose the title. I'm excited. Yeah, it's going to... It feels very fresh. It is very, very fresh. Uh, I think also, last but not least, this is also in a a pretty well-built feud. You have Kevin Owens versus everybody's hated douchebag white guy, Logan Paul, for the United States Championship. They're going to put this somewhere in the middle of a card of a four-match pay-per-view at the moment or premium live event. This should be on the pre-show. 
Sorry, Kevin. But that should be on Ooh, the free show. That's a bold statement. That's a bold, statement. You, that's a bold <laughs> statement. How dare you, Kay? This is this is, this is Logan Paul we're talking about here. Social Yo, media. Yo, fuck Logan Paul. <laughs> I'm not sorry about Michael, it. Michael, Michael Cole won't let you forget he's a social media mega, mega star. star. He's like the Why Hulk. We... He's like the Hulk Hogan of social media. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I would put that on the main. I would put that on the pre-show and then put like a a meaningful women's match. No, Kay, you don't understand. This guy is the Ric Flair of Vine. <laughs> all right. <laughs> He is a 21-time <laughs> Vine champion. Well, the 21-time Vine <laughs> champion is setting feminism back at least 15 years. So, some people would also call him a maverick of sorts. Yeah, yeah, he's a maverick. He's a maverick. A maverick of sorts. I mean, honestly, they had a great promo on SmackDown. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be really good. They did. It was they really, did. really good. And I, 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 I am a big fan of Logan Paul. I can't believe it, but he, he's really – he's fucking – Really yeah, good. he's just too busy with all of her stuff to be consistent. <laughs> and him and LA Knight are going to do a great mid card match on night two of WrestleMania. They so are. They so are. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful, actually. Um, oh, yeah. 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 I yeah. think, I mean, listen, Logan Paul's got one of the most uh, protected runs in recent WWE history. He's gone up against Roman. He's gone up against like every Ray. He went up against Ray in his first WrestleMania. The Miz helped him out. Seth, Seth yeah, like yeah. he's Ricochet. yeah, like he's doing well uh, for himself. And Kevin Owens is going to protect him. Probably going to beat the crap out of him at the same time. Um, I he's going to take a great step. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's taken one before, which is also the great part about that promo. He mentions that the reason he got into wrestling because he got stunned at WrestleMania in Tampa by KO, and he wants to get his revenge. Which is, which is, which is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, complete wild card for the Royal Rumble. Uh, Pat McAfee's going to guest commentate. Absolutely, because they're not going to tell Michael Cole, mm-hmm. and Cole's going to be Cole's going <laughs> to fanboy again. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe Pat McAfee is in the Rumble. And then once he gets eliminated, he goes to the commentary desk. Yeah, I like that. That's that's the shit. Really funny. I, I like the- I just got my ass kicked, my <laughs> <laughs> My friend Aaron Rodgers said Jimmy Kimmel's okay. <laughs> That's what it is. Pat McAfee's gonna go to the Rumble. He's gonna be he's gonna be valeted in by Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> by Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers wearing like a Jimmy Kimmel mask. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god, it might happen, actually. <laughs> Would it put it past them? Would it put it past them? Dude, Aaron Rodgers, what an asshole. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you guys for years. <laughs> I always believed him. He's like, yeah, Jimmy Kimmel was on the Epstein Play Logs. <laughs> and he wasn't. Yeah. Oh my god. I I do like the Jason Kelsey ripping off his shirt when Cody wins the Rumble. It will be a great visual as well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. But yeah, no, this match is gonna be fun. I don't know what they're gonna do with this and know what it's gonna lead to, but Kale's gonna try to make Logan look good and it's gonna be great. But Logan Paul's gonna find a way to to scrape to scrap his way through this again. Maybe he does the brass knucks again, like he did at uh Crown Jewel or what have you. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. again, the Royal Rumble is a four match card so far, unless they add something else. So far. So far, unless they add something. John Cena's going to come out and cut a promo He's again. He's going to say, like, hey, is Wes May going to come here? <laughs> it already <laughs> has. <laughs> Twice, kind of. One and a half. Um, who knows? Maybe he'll correct Gunther, because I don't know if you saw Gunther's gaffe, which I do have to talk about. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen from a production crew. So Gunther comes out to talk to Seth, and he's like, yeah, Seth, uh... You know, this Sunday at the Royal Rumble, and then immediate. Oh my god! I was immediately fucking the production team pulls up a graphic saying Royal Rumble this Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> and then the commentary going the Royal Rumble Saturday. On Saturday. <laughs> I was like, someone emphasis on someone Saturday. got a raise on that TV truck, or just like laughing her ass. They're like, wait, we have a seven second delay. Hold no, on. there there was a there was a director screaming his face <laughs> off. You put that. <laughs> Fucking graphic up right now. And you don't take it down until we go to fucking commercial. So funny. <laughs> it was so funny. I'm so glad you brought that up because I, I thought, I'm like, should, I'm like, did anyone else notice oh, that or did I imagine all noticed it? They it. <laughs> they put it up real quick. It was, it was so funny. Oh my God. It was one of the best uh, things but, ever. But he also, Gunther said that the Royal Rumble being on Sunday so convincingly that. I, I, I th- is the bull on Sunday? I had to catch myself too. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> Did 
Did they so, advertise it I all have, wrong? I work, I work during the day on Saturday, but I'll be done bef- way before the Rumble starts. So yeah. I can actually, you know, watch this year. Yeah, Not watch, like last year. Watch with us on Discord. We but, might have a plan in place, okay? I would love that. Leah, last year I, had, I like watched all the big fours during work and it was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was yeah it was so with all that being said uh we're gonna do the crown system obviously and i think i think i might start something that will started years ago that we never really kept up with i think we might name a champion of kotr by the end of this year and start keeping a tally of who has the best predictions oh i like oh that. my god we, i forgot we kept points one year yeah we did we got to see who wins who wins for all the shows that we predict uh throughout this year with the royal rumble being the starter uh so i might have to hit you guys up during the post show about what were your selections were uh but be it as it may uh mix murphy uh or kayfabe uh, i'm gonna run through all of your nicknames at this point <laughs> um all good yeah, like, like, like the three face to foley over there <laughs> seriously <laughs> love it it's amazing. I have many errors, many faces. You do, and yeah. You have I, more. Go ahead, Kay. <laughs> I said, I said, I have many errors. I have many faces, and I give this Royal Rumble eight crowns. Yeah, you have more errors than Taylor Swift. Thank God. Um, I do. Yeah, thank goodness. She's stealing swag surfing from me. Anywho, well, Terror Shock. <laughs> <laughs> I have my grants with T Swift. <laughs> I got, I got high, I got high hopes for this uh, Rumble. Like every Rumble. Uh, people have been. I remember people were poop pooing on the last few ones. I go, you guys didn't watch the same show I did. The last few rumbles have been fucking really good, really fun. Yeah. Like, and, I feel like the rumbles have been really fun in recent and, years. And always surprisingly, the women's has been past two years has been better than the men's. Yeah, mm-hmm. they have much. From what I remember, do. and I remember the past few years, the men's have gone first, which is always surprising. Yeah, Rio. I think Rio won. Rio won the last year, and and the women's went on second. The men's one, no. The men's went on. Are you sure? I don't. I remember Rhea winning after. Uh, after. After uh, Cody. After no, my fault. You're right. Rhea won first, and then Cody won. Because Cody was the main event, right? Yeah. No. 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 Roman, Roman, Roman was the main. Was the main. Yeah. Oh, ah, maybe you're right. Roman. Maybe you're right. But I always think the women are gonna go first. In the past few years, I could have sworn the men have gone first. They switch it up from time to time, but Roman being the yeah. main event also kind of screws it up. Uh, oh, that's as right. Well. Yeah. So for me, I'm pretty last year's p- rumble feels so long ago. It was, yeah, it was. Um, it was. It was. <laughs> it January was. Was, it was a year ago, actually. Yeah. Who, who would have thought? Um. Uh. Yeah. I think I'm also gonna give this nine crowns, Azrael. Um. Yeah, because this is of all the rumbles in recent memory, this is probably the most unpredictable one. You know, there's a lot of things that could happen that can really change what's going on with WrestleMania. And this these next couple of months, and I'm excited for it. I, I really, really am. Uh, so that pretty much concludes our our show this week. Hey, welcome back, Big Ten. That includes our show this week. We are. It's been really nice to have all of you guys back, especially K. Not so much well, but especially K. Um, That's you, fine. I get it. To have you guys back, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tuesday. I think Tuesday might be a, a consistent thing, and uh, also check out our social medias in the future because I have rules for the Royal Rumble drinking game uh, this year, given to me by the Queen herself. Shout out to Danny Nolan. Um, oh, Jesus. Yeah, the Royal Road, we'll talk about on the post show. I got it sent be to me yesterday. Be on the floor by, by, by entrance 15. That's old, Don't be like Charles from last year, Jesus Christ. I had to hear him snore in my headset. Because <laughs> he passed. <laughs> <laughs> and he woke up the next, that's why I know the women went on last, because he woke up the next day and he totally forgot half of the women's rumble. That's and we had to watch it again. That's the women <laughs> went on last. Yes. The I'm, <laughs> I'm probably, I'm probably going to go buy, uh, I'm going to have to go buy Stone Cold's beer for royal rumble get like a six get a six pack um, yeah because they're they're tall boys they're yeah pretty much, or they're big, yeah they're bigger i should say yeah uh they can Jesus be over Christ. discord if we if we play it out right but i'll tell the rules uh, a little bit later but it's good to have you guys back uh so yeah with that being said um should we just kick it to the post show now no you do music yeah, yeah i mean that's why i mean kick it to the post show do music act like you've been here before will yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> CM Pop, I love it. Midnight. Ladies.
Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to or watching the award-nominated Kings of the Rings podcast, the 2024 finalists for the Best Wrestling Podcast by the Sports Podcast Awards. Please give us a vote by clicking the link in the description below. I have been your host, King Ricky Rose. You can actually, kayfabe and well, actually find me at Ambassador Biggs across all social media outlets. Find Kings of the Rings podcast at KOTR underscore podcast. Like, share, subscribe. Leave us five-star reviews. Links to all of that are in the description below. We are a member of of Wrestle Addict Radio, the cure for the Common Wrestling Podcast Network. Find Wrestle Addict Radio's socials at Addict underscore Wrestle on Twitter and Wrestle Addict Radio everywhere else. It is good to be back with the original crew, the award-nominated crew, because we couldn't go this far without everybody in attendance on uh, on this panel and on this show. Will Tarashuk. Kay, Kay, I've been thinking with this for three days um, since you and I are back. Don't you do it. Show. Don't we you do it. Show Don't one you way. do it. God damn it. <gasps> Oh, goodness. Uh, Just do your outro. (laughs) Just do your outro so I can get the K. (laughs) Oh, it's the one with words. Oh, yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah. Jazz is going to yell at me because it's going to get loud in here in about three seconds. (laughs) I don't care if we get hit with copyright. (laughs) (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Will Tarashuk. T is in Thomas A R A S H U. Why did I see this coming? I love this song because I, I thought about it so good. I thought about it yesterday. I keep this song on the soundboard for moments just like this. But <laughs> Kay Murphy is gone for six months, and all the days of my life are right here on the Kings of the Banks podcast. It's nine years, guys, coming up on February eighth. Oh Jesus! It's the nine year anniversary of this podcast, so a lot of crazy things <laughs> are going to happen on this show, including the unsung hero is finally going to get his song, and it's not this one. Murphy, K Fabe, Queen B, whatever, whatever you're calling yourself these days, H-B-I-C. please. I'm so glad to have that. H B I C, the ukulele baby. Let's go, K. How are you? The ukulele baby. Oh, I gotta I like find, that. I gotta find that audio because that's how you you start. You gave us the theme song. You played the ukulele, ukulele on your. Oh first God, time. no! Oh, I remember that. Yeah, oh, you were in like a I basement. <laughs> Yeah, I recorded that in the, by the basement of my parents' house. Yeah. Look how far we've come. Yes, you have a dog now. Um, yes. <laughs> Get He's your own baby. Like a little baby. He's very eepy. Um, you can find us on Instagram at K underscore Fabe. You can also find me on TikTok, not doing a whole lot of anything. And yeah. Not even responding to the videos I send you either, but that's cool. <laughs> okay. If you send them through text, I will look at them. All right, fair. I do not look at the inbox. I always <laughs> ignore the inbox. I don't know why. why? I have like a hundred TikToks in my inbox. I haven't opened them or looked at them. That's fine. But if you text it to me, I'll open it and respond like with like promptly. I got you. I got you. Anywho, folks, when we come back uh, next week, probably on Wednesday, they. Kay and Will probably won't be here, but I'll probably drag in somebody from the World Wrestling Twitter uh, to be on the show. But first and foremost, folks, enjoy the Royal Rumble. Uh, enjoy the best time to be a wrestling fan because 2024 is about to get absolutely insane. And it starts this weekend at the Royal Rumble. So until next week, folks, goodbye. Good night. We'll see you soon, except for you, Slack, because you're still never going to get back on the show. Fuck you, Slack. See you later, folks. This has been a Wrestle Attic Radio branded podcast.